All right, let's talk about the new item, the PAL Butcher Conveyor Belt. So, we all know how annoying it is to butcher PALs. It's so, you know, manually laborious. It's it's awful. It's, it's, it's just so tiring. But now, with the addition to the, what is it called? The PAL Disassembly Conveyor, it uses a plasteel, which is very difficult to obtain due to the crude oil um, uh, thing. But, with that being said, I'm also sitting on air, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna show you guys what it is and how awesome it is. So, this gives you the the, the, the liberty, let me say, the liberty to go around capturing all the pals you want. Ooh, let me just take this guy out real quick. Let me take this guy out. Where are you going? Where's your friend? That guy out. Oh man, I have no more space for his meat. Yeah. Let me just. Let's say you want to be awesome and just chuck a bunch of freaking balls out into the air. Just chuck them. Just chuck them. Chuck them. Chuck them. You're gonna catch some anyways. They got a hundred percent rate. Fine by me. Look at all the materials that you gain out of this. We get. Well, obviously my inventory is a little full, but you get all of this. Material twice. Obviously, it's a big dent in your pal spheres because this costs a lot of materials. But the best part about this is that you can just get rid of them. You can just get rid of them again. Let me see which one it is. This one. Right? You can just get rid of them twice. That's the beauty of it. I'm gonna go all the way to the end. Where is it? Boom, boom. Oh, that's a serenity, but I don't want it. Boom, boom. All the ones that you don't want. That you don't need slot them in and here's the deal you, if you miss if you do it wrong if you miss time it or if you get one in that you want to take back you got to get it back before before that pal goes through that belt or else it's bought it's gone it's gonzo forever got it okay with that being said look at look at all the food that we can possibly be getting out of this so much food so much goodies now watch I like to keep it up in the air so that you see how it just piles up like this? Eventually it's going to become so much that it's just going to be a giant pile. It's just going to be a ginormous puddle. And they, the Wumpos, will pick it up. Look, he's picking up the food and he's putting it in there. My cold box. This stuff will never expire. Always slot in the first that they're going to eat, second that they're going to eat, third that they're going to eat. And continue it onwards until there's no end. And then I like to put a kitchen right next to it so that it will automatically be sent into the food box. Da food box. Uh. Right? Maintain production, maintain speeds, maintain a nice flow of it all. They won't be able to get that though. So you need to have like a hell zephyr. Yep, those guys to pick it up. Once the food's all done from being harvested, they're gonna, yep, they're gonna start picking it up and bringing it to either the food box or to the storage unit. And yeah, I have, I'm trying to make all of these in every single one of my bases. Technically, what happens is that you end up getting, you end up capturing, capturing like all the pals, no matter what, and you say, oh, I want to just go back to base, and you don't really care which one you go to, as long as you have like some sort of idea as to what kind of item you're going to be getting back, you technically don't have to worry about when an item is at a different base, because at, at the end of the day, after a certain amount of time, you're going to end up, if you do, if you have these at all the bases, and you start, you know, chopping up all the pals and whatnot that you don't want, and they start being put into other bases aside from your main base then you don't have to worry about certain pals having certain items and then at the end you just sort it and then they'll all look technically the same they'll all look technically the same then you just go boop, 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 and you pick it up and you're good to go you see you don't have to have it all in one base but that's that's when you get to a really far end game okay i'll show you guys the other base let me let's just go uh make sure everything's all taken care of it, 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 it's so fast, and it's kind of concerning, but it's just the way of life, you know? Way of life, eh. BOOM! You're gonna have some balls that don't end up going into them, or, sorry, that was weird. You're gonna have some balls that just end up being missed, like, I only got one out of those, like, 12. Yep, and at the chip tippity top of my science center, we have the experimental butchering section. Go all the way to the end, and all these pals are gonna be going bye bye. 
And you just gotta keep going and watch. It's gonna start mounting up into that. It's gonna be a ginormous, huge, uh, ginormous, huge little thing. And it's gonna be really laggy, actually. Alright, well, I will see you all later. Bye-bye. Oh.